I thought I'd start this vlog a little bit differently, as you could see. I did a time lapse of me getting resi this morning. Um, I didn't do a time lapse of me washing my hair or anything because I just thought it would be too too long. Hello. Um, I wanted to do things a little bit differently because I think I feel like my past couple of vlogs have been just boring and I want to try and mix them up a bit. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd start differently. Um, today I'm actually meant to be going to a opening of my hairdresser's new salon called The Little Hair Maid. She is one of she's one of the best hairdressers I've came across. Um, and her salon is in Wallasey, Merseyside, and that's on Rake Lane. Um, so yeah, from this, I'll go to there. I'm not going to do the whole getting dressed and things like that. I'm just going to have a little bit of a talk now and um, hopefully vlog a bit at the opening and then end the vlog tonight. Now, I don't know about anybody else or where anybody else is, but last night the weather was absolutely awful. And I don't know whether you can actually see, but my bin actually blew right across the garden and my garden is now covered in recycling crap and it, the wind is probably it's probably been the loudest it's been in a very long time it's loud not well not not the loudest i wouldn't say the loudest has been in a long time i'd say it's the loudest it's been while i've been here and it's gone on to such an extent it, I mean, it was that loud, it kept me awake. So I've had no sleep either, basically. Um, I've just had my breakfast as well. I had a cinnamon bagel this morning. I had half a cinnamon bagel and Flo had the other half. And I'm also going to be having a peanut butter and banana smoothie. Now, the reason I don't normally eat like this, what I normally do is I could, I'd normally skip breakfast. Because if I eat early in the morning, no, it makes me it makes me feel sick. But so I'd sort of like I'd have brunch instead, and then I'd wait for dinner. But recent the past couple of months, I've been trying my best to have like those three meals a day. And I'm one of those people who struggles with my weight, and I just can't put any weight on at all. So basically, I've decided to have smoothies in the morning and in the afternoon not in the afternoon at night before i go to bed so hopefully that'll help me weight gain a bit so i thought i'd just mention that as well because i will be talking about a whole full flu food vlog on what i eat in a day sort of thing but i thought i'd just like throw a little bit in to begin with before i just go right into it because people might just think it's boring so yeah um, it's actually, it's, a, it's 20 to 10, so it's, it, to be honest, it is quite late, but I've been up since about half past six this morning because I haven't had any sleep, so I just feel, I feel really, really tired, to be honest, um, but yeah, other than the wind, it's it, other than the wind, I'd say it's been okay-ish. I normally sleep. I don't have flow tonight. She is away for the weekend. So hopefully I can catch up on my sleep there. I did actually do a vlog previous to this, which was like a decluttering cleaning vlog. But I had to scrap it because, to be honest, I thought it was a bit crap. Um, it just went a bit wrong, basically. So, yeah. Um, I'll go and get ready and then well I'm not going to get ready straight away to, to be honest because this opening event is until 2pm so I think I'm going to be going in the afternoon so basically once I'm dressed I'll show you what I'm wearing as well um, this what I'm wearing now is actually you see I'm trying to throw little bits in to make it a little bit more interesting this pyjama set is actually it's from Primark 
And once I'm not very keen on Primark, but one of the things that I found about Primark is they can be good for the pajama sets, but it's searching for them because the last time I went in for a, for a decent pajama set, I only came out with one, and the rest of them was just crap. It was like they were really, really cheap. So it's hit and miss with Primark, but I thought I'd mention that the pajama set is from Primark, and to be honest, for Primark, it's actually quite nice. It really is quite nice. So yeah, I thought I'd mention that as well because obviously I want me, I'm still experimenting with the vlogs and basically what I eventually want to get myself to is being able to go from, I want to be able to do a bit of everything. So I'm going to be going out. Oh, this is another thing. Um, Because this is, because I'm going to be going to our events, this will be the first time as well that I vlog outside, which I'm not really, I'm actually quite nervous about to be honest, because I've never done it before. And apparently it can be really, really difficult. So what I might just do is, I might vlog outside the hairdressers and then just to show you that, you know, the outside of the building and then when I get inside, I might just do a time-lapse to make it a little bit easier for me because otherwise I think it's going to be very, very difficult. So, yeah, but as I said, I want to throw a little bit in, little different bits in. I want to basically throw in, like, what I eat, getting ready, um, getting flow up, getting hair ready because obviously when I, my in my first vlog, I did say it's going to be about, you know, looking after kids as well. Um, obviously she hasn't been in it much but you'll get to see more of that the more experience we get within the vlogs so I will see you later right I'm a bit out of breath because basically I've just had a massive fight with the wheelie bin that flew all over the garden last night but as you can see I'm all ready to go to this event um, I haven't really got a proper like stand for the camera anymore because it broke the other day. But just going to show you what I'm wearing. I'm just wearing the Zara coat that I got um, the other day. Um, I have this cashmere tartan scarf on which I got from Marks Spencer's. I think I got it about two years ago. So it is quite old. And then I have this next top on. Let me just see if I can get my arm out. I have this next top on. And... This was actually, it was, it was classed as... Right, unfortunately, this camera is awful. Uh, when I was moving it around, I accidentally stopped recording. So this is the top I got from Next. Um, it's just a basic top. It's comfy, casual top. And I have these jeans as well. These are like... Uh, I think they're called classes coated jeans. So I'm wearing my coated jeans as well from River Island, as well as my bare paw boots. Um, I, do, I did have Ugga boots, but I changed them for bare paw boots. And to be perfectly honest, they are better quality and better value. So, it is now the next day. I didn't film the hair salon opening because, to be honest, not many people were there. So I didn't see the point. And secondly, I didn't know anyone there and I sort of got a bit nervous when I thought of vlogging. Um, so that's why I didn't vlog. And I'm in a way, I'm actually glad I didn't vlog that day, yesterday. Um, because somebody who had really, really hurt me recently was there. They actually turned up an hour before I left. And, yeah, that is another story I will talk about at some point. Um, but that had an impact on my mental health when it happened about four, four or five. It was five months ago. Um, the last time I saw this person was at my daughter's birthday party and they caused me so much pain that I ended up having a mental breakdown because of them. 
So, yeah. I'll, yeah. Anyway, today's a new day. Um, I'm not sure what I'll be doing yet, but uh, flows you back later. So, I might just stick you on a time last while I do a little bit of tidying. Or I might just completely skip it and go to the night time when flows back and end the vlog there. I'm not sure yet. We'll see how I feel. Right, I thought I'd just throw this little bit in, to be honest. Um, because I didn't actually vlog when I went to the Little Hermaids um, salon opening, I thought I'd just show you this leaflet I got instead. Now, it was a little hair maze. I actually met her at a, at, it was it was at Lulu's Vintage Fair in the Zelfi Hotel. Um, I believe it was last year. I think it was last year, actually. Um, she's um, a vintage and modern hair and makeup and hair extensions um, artist. This is her, if you can see it. She is a very good hairdresser. She is the best hairdresser I have ever had, to be honest. Um, she, this I don't know whether you can actually see this. I'm gonna actually. This might even appear backwards when I when this goes up. I'm not a hundred percent sure because the way it's filming it, it does look backwards. So I'm not a hundred percent sure how this is gonna turn out. But basically, these are all the things. If you can see what she has to offer, the services she has, the prices as well. And so if you're interested, she is in Wallace. She's in she's just moved to Wallacey. Her salon is in Wallacey. That's 249 Ray Clean Wallacey. CH52 5 DJ. Obviously if you're in a different country, you're not going to be able to go. But for those of you who are on the Wirral or in Liverpool or Merseyside, um, definitely check out her Instagram and Facebook page, which is The Little Hair Maid as well. And th obviously, I showed before, this is her logo, logo. So you will know definitely you've picked, you found the right person as soon as you see this little logo. As I said before, she's a really good... Um, hairdresser she's a really good makeup artist as well and she's basically opening this salon was it's her first salon that she's opened um she did work previously for jade salon in birkenhead and this was her dream to open her own salon and her dreams came true so yeah check her out um i will be at some point hoping to do a time lapse when i get my hair done and my makeup done for my friend's wedding in april so yeah hopefully you'll get to see the salon then and you'll get to meet zoe who is the owner of the little hair maid and yeah you'll get to see exactly how good she is then Flo so is hugging tired. the chair so tired first day of being a dog mum and i'm dying cheese Bye, I'm tired. Cheese. Cheese. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> hi. Right, it's now the evening and I didn't do any more vlogging today because I've just, the past couple of days I've, been, I've felt really, really tired and I just haven't been feeling it, so... Basically, I'm going to end the vlog with my Zaffle review. So, basically, for those of you who watched my Zaffle haul, would know that I had my very first Zaffle haul. And it wasn't great. And, basically, when I contacted Zaffle, because when they sent me the packages through the post, they didn't send me a return label or anything. Um, So, I contacted Zaffle through emails. And I told them what had happened. And they were like, uh, we, you know, we're going to try and resolve the problem for you the best way we can, blah, blah. Um, basically, they kept saying, send the item back, send the item back. And I said, well, you, how can I send it? They, not once did they try. Not only have they not given me a return label, but 
they never sent me an address to return it to. So I couldn't send the item back even if I wanted to. And basically, because I kept complaining and complaining and complaining, they were like, oh, we've addressed the situation several times. You may have addressed the situation, Zaffel, several times, but when it comes down to it, you didn't do anything about it. You didn't send me a return label because there's no way I'm paying postage on that. And you didn't send me the address. I started, it got annoying to the point where they were that uncooperative. I had to contact their Facebook site and I had to communicate with them. And I said, basically, you know, you're not cooperating. The email team aren't cooperating. Stop messing me around. I just want a refund. You know, send me the return label. You know, and can you say, you know, it got to the point where I was that annoyed and I what nothing was happening at all. So I basically said to them, you know, send me the contact the phone number so I can contact that Zaffel directly. Um I did I said specifically said to them as well, um, send me the UK number and they purposely sent me the American number instead, so I would not be able to contact them. Um and that annoyed me and it got to the point where they actually stopped replying to my messages and stopped reading my messages, which is very, very unprofessional for a company that is meant to be based in America. But I'm now 100% they're not based in America. What I think with Zaffle, like a lot of countries you will find, not a lot of countries, a lot of companies you will find is they, they have an office, a head office that is based in America, but the actual company is based in China and that is my conclusion to Zaffle. So basically I ended up I complained again and again and again as I've said and they eventually I said look the last email I actually sent to them I actually said look you're taking the piss basically you haven't sent me a return label you I, I can't send it back because you haven't sent me you know an address to send it back to either you're not cooperating at all and basically I just it was so annoying and so frustrating. I just said to them in the last email, look, I'm just going to put it in the bin. If this is a complete waste of time. You haven't cooperated with me whatsoever. They sent me an email back saying, oh, because we value our values customer to us. I, cu I couldn't have been a valued customer because it was my first order. So there's no way I was a valued customer. Due to the fact that you are a valued customer of ours, we are going to send you a refund of $22 which will be about £18 it may seem small and stupid but I'm having financial problems at the moment so it's £18 I could do with and that was a week ago and I still haven't had a refund so I will be tracing that up tomorrow so yeah that's the end of this vlog uh, my next one uh, I'm gonna be doing I'm probably, to be honest, I'm going to be filming it from tomorrow, but it's going to be like a five-day vlog. It's just, it's not going to be anything severely interesting, like um, cleaning, cooking, or anything like that, but I will be getting to those things. My next vlog is going to be a break in my Dr. Martin boots with me vlog. Um, I bought a pair of Dr. Martin boots a long time ago, and when I put them on, I felt the blisters appear straight away. But I'll go more into that on my next vlog. So thank you for watching and I'll see you hopefully next Sunday, either Saturday or Sunday, when the vlog will go off. Bye.